ain't no M's in my bank account, but it's in my goal. I say fuck being broke, boy that shit is getting old. If she throw that pussy at me, I'ma catch it cause I'm open. I ain't talking USC when I say I keep the Trojans. Ain't no shame in my shit from the struggle to the top. Got no milk, fuck it. Eat. I think Keith Thurman was right, you know. They're clearly trying to build this fight up and he's like he most likely gonna fight Earl Spence next year. And, you know, it, it really makes sense. I, I kinda agree with I think it's seventy eight sports where he was saying that, you know, it's kinda disrespectful how you gonna tell the fans you got to wait or, you know, you need to wait and we're going to do it when we build it up. And, you know, it's kind of like pimping the fans, which it does make a lot of sense. You know, it makes tons of sense, actually. But most likely they're going to build it up. And that's why they don't have they, they want they got to sell this fight. They have to sell it. They're probably going to make, you know, keep Thurman fight. Sean Porter next. They probably not gonna let Danny Garcia fight. Then they gonna let you know Spence fight his tune up, and then Spence fight again at the end of the year, and then you know possibly fight either again next year, or that's when he's gonna face Keith Thurman. And what will happen is they make it where this time Keith Thurman will beat these guys convincingly because. He didn't beat them convincingly, like, as you could say, like, you could still, some people still say Sean Porter, you know, won the Keith Thurman fight. You got some people just like, all right, Keith Thurman won. I think that this go around, Keith Thurman will win convincingly. He will win those, both of those fights convincingly. And then they'll make the Earl Spence fight next year, and, you know, they'll continue... So that's what he's saying as far as like building it up, which I don't believe that you're really building it up because we already know what you're doing. Like we already see what you're trying to do. You know, like Floyd Mayweather was to me the last person like you seen what you see how they try to build up Triple G. And they try to build up Triple G versus Canelo, you know, they try to maximize their opportunity and take advantage of that as much as they could. But the sales didn't show us nothing like, you know, by them waiting, you know, the sales didn't show us that by them waiting, it was a great idea to wait. And the same way I feel for Amir Khan and Kell Brook, I feel like that fight lost a lot of steam. I think that if they announced the fight, people aren't going to be too interested in that fight. It may be a grudge match, and I'm pretty sure people are going to watch. But I don't think it's it's going to have that same effect that it had years ago. You know, even with the fighters losing, you know, I just don't think it's going to have that much steam. And as far as like Earl Spence, Keith Thurman, I think the fans are going to watch, of course. But at the same time, and, and like the guy 78 Sports said, they're going to charge much more money because they know people want to see it. So by Keith Thurman beating these guys, he feels as though he could beat those guys convincingly. And Earl Spence uh, continue to, you know, be, become bigger in the sport. And then he's going to face them. And that's when more people. But I don't think, I just don't think you can gain, especially when people already know. It's like you're going to say that they have a mandatory, just automatically say that they got a mandatory. Like, he automatically, Keith Thurman automatically got two mandatories. So you letting us know that you're just basically setting us up for a, a big fight. You know, and wait. Like, you have to wait. So it, it's just, to me, I just, of course I'm going to watch it. <laughs> you know, I'm going to watch Keith Thurman and Earl Spence. But I don't think, me personally, I mean, maybe they'll sell it, but I just don't see it being bigger next year than it could be this year. Like, I just, I don't think so. Maybe numbers will tell us otherwise, so we just have to wait and see. 
but I just don't think that it matters, you know, and Keith Thurman injury is probably fake. Like a lot of stuff just probably fake now. Like a lot of this stuff is just probably fake. I don't know what to believe no more because it's all promotion. I don't know what to believe no more, man. Like to tell you the truth, you know, I just don't know what's real or what's not, but I think they're going to make the fight happen, you know, and Al Heyman is probably advising them. You know, I do believe that what Kenny Porter said today. Like him saying that they're trying to protect Earl Spence, I don't believe that because otherwise he wouldn't have sent them all the way to the U.K. to fight Kill Brook. Like that's a huge risk unless they already knew that was planned out. But I don't know. This video has been going a little bit long. I'm trying to start to show my videos up. But y'all let me know what y'all think. You know, do y'all think they're going to make the fight happen in the middle of 2019 next year? Or do you think... You know, because I think they go make that pay-per-view. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Get in that comment box, like, share, subscribe. I'm out.